final leg. Huge day in track and field. We had the World Athletics Indoor Tour continuing in tour in Poland, but here we had the New York Runner Runners Milrose Games going down right in New York City. In the Armory, we had amazing performances. I don't even know where to start. The Women's Modern Maker Mile, this turned out to be one of the greatest indoor miles in the history of the event. Eleanor Puria from the United States, she dragged the field to an amazing, amazing deep race. She came away with the win, 416.85 seconds. Not only a world lead, not only a personal best, not only a national record, also number two all time in the indoor mile, only behind Genzebe de Baba's 413. So huge performance for her. But that wasn't it. Constance Klosterhofen from Germany, national record of 417.26 seconds, moving her to number four all time in the indoor mile. Also, we had Gemma Riki from Great Britain, who just ran that amazing 800 meter race. She managed to run 417.88 seconds, moving her to number five all time. We can't forget about Gabriella Debut Stafford from Canada, also a national record, moving her to number eight all time for 19.73 seconds. So super deep race. Again, Eleanor Puria from the United States dragged everyone to some super fast times, coming away with the win, 416.85 seconds, number two all time, amazing mile race there. Let's go over to that men's 800 meters though. Donovan Brazier, who just dominated the 600 meters in Boston not too long ago, he managed to come away with a huge win here, running 144.22 seconds, personal best national record, moving him to number five all time. He actually was already number five, improved his time that he had there, really setting himself up. He is showing that he is the most dominant 800 meter runner that we have right now. Of course, Nigel Amos, of course, Emmanuel Career, but Donovan Brazier, 2019 world champion, he is cementing himself as the 800 meter runner to beat going into the Olympics this year. So definitely keep a lookout for him. On the women's 800 meter side, Ajay Wilson, the bronze medalist from Doha last year, one of the most dominant 800 meter runners in the world over the past couple years. She managed to come away with a personal best 158.29 seconds, makes her number 14 all time. It's a national record for the USA. So she really is dominating. Again, she got bronze last year, little hiccup in the final of the 800 meters in Doha, but she's showing that she is the most dominant 800 meter runner and definitely going to be one to beat going into the Tokyo Olympics this year. Now, women's 60 meter dash. This was a highly anticipated race, very deep field here, but Oliver from the United States, she managed to come away, grab that win in a best of 7.13 seconds, makes her number three all time in the world for 2020. So great performance for her, followed very closely behind Morilake Akinison, also from the United States, 7.16 seconds, number seven in 2020 in the world this year. They also were followed behind Brianna Williams from Jamaica, personal best for the indoor 60 meters, 7.18 seconds. So really strong performance for her. Of course, we know she recently went pro and she's been showing that she's setting herself up well for a good 2020 season. Allison Felix, highly anticipated. She ran 7.35 in Michigan not too long ago. She came here, improved her season's best, 7.32 seconds. So really showing her progression, hopefully gonna be translating to a great outdoor season. Keeping things in the 60 meter dash, on the men's side though, we had Ronnie Baker grab the win, 6.54 seconds. That's number four in the world for 2020 this year. He's been away from it for a while. Of course, we know he had injury. He came back at USA's last year, but he didn't make the team to Doha, but he's definitely one of the fastest guys in the world, not only in 60 meters, but also at 100 meters. So hopefully he's healthy, gonna see what he does outdoors in that 100 meter dash. Let's talk about the field events. We have the men's shot put where we had Ryan Krauser going up against Joe Kovacs. Krauser managed to grab that win 22.19 meters, a world leading performance for him, not too far off his personal best of 22.33 meters, which he had indoors in 2019. This throw, 22.19, is actually the 10th best performance in the indoor shot put in history. So really strong performance from him. He's going to be looking for a defense of his Olympic title in Tokyo this year. Keeping things in the field events, we had Sandy Morris competing in the pole vault. She went up to a new world leading performance, 4.91 meters. Not only a world lead, very close to her indoor personal best of 4.95 meters. Just like Ryan Krauser in the shot put, this 4.91 meters in the pole vault is a 10th best performance in the history of the pole vault. So Sandy Morris really showing that she's going to be going for a gold medal in the pole vault at Tokyo this year. Let's jump back to the track in the men's Wanamaker mile, Chris O'Hare. He managed to take down a very high quality field that include the likes of Nick Willis, Philip Ingebrigtsen, a lot of other guys. He got the win here in 355.61 seconds. Really strong performance for him. That's a 2020 world leading performance. Took the win just coming off. He took the lead, really separated himself from the rest of the field. So great performance for Chris O'Hare in that men's mile. 
How about those 60 meter hurdles on the women's side? Kenny Harrison was going up against Nia Ali and Yannick Brown. Harrison, though, she managed to grab the win, getting it in a best of 7.90 seconds. Not a season's best for her, but really strong performance. Nia Ali was right behind 7.96 seconds. Also not a season's best, but both these ladies performing really, really well and definitely going to be translating to the 100 meter hurdles outdoors when they put 10 hurdles on that track. On the men's side, we unfortunately didn't see the clash between Holloway Roberts and McLeod. Both Holloway and McLeod had to pull off from the race, but Daniel Roberts managed to come away with a comfortable win, 7.64 seconds. So number 13 in the world for 2020, not a really fast performance, but definitely just breaking off the cobwebs, getting into the season. Hopefully he's gonna translate to that outdoor season. And we're gonna see some great matchups between all these guys when we get to the 110 hurdles. On the 3000 meter side of things, Ali Ostrander from the United States grabbed the win in that women's race, getting it in eight. 48.94 seconds makes her number seven in 2020 personal best for her so really strong performance then on the men's side this was a really high quality field but probably didn't pan out as we expected we had justin knight from canada he grabbed the win in a very commanding win 746.36 seconds makes him number 11 in 2020 so really strong performance not very very fast but great performances from both these guys and the ladies now jumping down to the sprints again we had rye benjamin competing in that men's 300 meter race opening his season he probably Probably won't run a real long indoor season but he got the win 300 meters 32.35 seconds personal best for him number two in the world of course this isn't a frequently run event but really strong performance for Rye Benjamin who got the silver medal at the Doha World Championships last year in those 400 meter hurdles he's going to be pushing the pace going outdoors definitely a great opener for him finally in the women's 400 meters we had Wanley Jonathan she grabbed the win 51.93 seconds not a season's best for her she had already run 51.70 seconds but showing the consistency she's coming off the great 2019 season she had where she got fourth place at the Doha World Championships she's showing she's not only consistent but definitely going to be a force to be reckoned with going into the Olympic year in 2020. All right so those are just the highlights from the Real Worlds games that went down in New York City. I can't even pick my favorite performance. So many great amazing performances on the track and in the field. Go in the comments below let me know what your favorite performance from the Mill Rose games here was. Make sure you guys check out the recap I did of the Torin World Indoor tour meet that went down in Poland you could probably click the card above great performances there of course Manu Duplantis broke that world record so definitely check that out in addition make sure you guys check out making of champions I'll leave some links in the description below to follow the content I'm going to be producing a lot of content highlighting Nigerian athletes around the world leading into the Tokyo 2020 Olympic season there's so many athletes that are going to be making an impact in 2020 in Tokyo so make sure you guys check out their content again I'll leave some links in the description definitely want you guys to follow that there. Make sure you guys like the video, subscribe to the channel. I'll be back again tomorrow to recap the NCAAs and also any of the other pro results that went down around the world. All right, so keep tuning in and we'll be back again in the next video. Thanks.